Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some Monster High news to talk about. From our first look at the new uh, Fear Book Series 2 dolls, including probably the best G3 Venus yet or Venus all of all time period um we also have abby in this new series we have our first look at a new official monster high g3 mobile game we have more real pictures real life pictures of the us collector two pack more stock photos of the new buried secrets budget dolls more information on upcoming g3 releases and more so stay tuned subscribe and let's get into it okay first off let's talk about the new stock photos we have of the buried secrets uh cozy creepo over um, new mystery box dolls. They're budget dolls, but they're also considered mystery, like blind box dolls. And they are to some extent because you cannot see the doll inside the box. Uh, which, by the way, I love that the the shape of the the box is a coffin, like sarcophagus, whatever. It, it's like okay, I like that. <laughs> That's very cute. So um, I also like how on the inside of every coffin um it's unique to every character you know the interior of the artwork um but these are these are considered mystery dolls but there is a way how you are able to tell which doll you are getting so the pink uh, on the front of the on, on uh, like the the cardboard part that you're supposed to remove on the front of the box you can see that there's uh, below the artwork there is a cloud that says you know like a mystery doll inside and basically the cloud will tell you which doll is inside depending on what color it is so if it's blue it's frankie if it's yellow it's cleo if it's pink draculaura and if it's purple it's claudine so there you go now you know who you're gonna be able to get in these um in this series so yes that is a very easy way to tell um and i think that's a very good way to do it that it's a, kind of like a mystery item but if you know how to choose which one you're getting then you know so it still kind of like serves both purposes of like knowing who, who you're getting but also it can still be a nice surprise toy for anyone who doesn't know about these dolls but i also feel like you know you, you can't really still check for the quality control or wonkiness of the face greeting or whatever so that's still obviously a factor but i think overall at least you're able to pick which doll you're getting um and i think obviously these are budget dolls in my opinion they have like the the basic five points of articulation with the added wrist movement but no movement at the knees or elbows um and they are kind of already bent in like weird shapes like their their legs and also like the elbows like some of them have their hands on their hips some of them don't um and i think for me it does limit overall the playability of the doll and also the poseability and just being able to stand them up or whatever um you know even for kids i feel like if, if i was a kid i would i would definitely not like it as much because i i wouldn't be able to freely play with the, with the doll as i would want to but uh you know that aside i do think the theming of the creepover kind of party uh it's so cute i like how each doll they have a overlying theme of like like the um like the night nightgown or like one piece shorts you know like they all have like one set of like one ribbon somewhere attached um i think that's cute they have like this ongoing little theme and also they have like this lace somewhere like on the shorts for cleo and like on the bottom of the nightgown for draculaura and frankie like they all have the same type of lace um i like that i also like how they all have a side glances where they can look at each other and also the makeup is very specific um i love how frankie also has a little band-aid that's super cute um and overall i guess i would say my favorite is still cleo um just because of that face screening it's golden it really it really looks amazing um but i think that the, the the biggest thing i don't like about these four dolls is that they all have poly hair which i guess makes sense because it's the cheapest type of hair and these are cheap dolls um but i also feel like you know if they had at least saran or the the, the other hair type that they usually have for g3 dolls um it would have been better because it also um i guess it kind of brings up the quality quality a little bit more because uh, they are cute dolls but for 15 bucks i guess it really depends uh, on how badly you want you want them um and if i think most people will just end up rebodying them anyway and just they will just end up using the um, outfits and the uh the actual head sculpts but they will not use the rest of the body because um i think you know a lot of people prefer the more articulation so um i think you know a lot of customization will be um 
you know, put into these four dolls. Moving on, yes, we have ha finally have our first look at our first official Monster High mobile game. Um, this is very exciting. Obviously, we've always had kind of like these Monster High knockoff mobile mobile games, even for G1 and G2. Um, it, it, you know, Monster High is a very noticeable um, and recognizable um, IP, and so obviously, you know, all these uh, all these fake games were gonna pop up eventually. <laughs> but I think for G3. Uh, finally, we have not only our first like um, console game that also just just released with like I don't know what like Ultimate something um, that released on Switch and like PS and like you know all these consoles. Um, that's very very exciting. And then now we also have our first mobile game for G3. Um, this mobile game is basically like most mobile games where you know you have characters where you can um, they can do activities, you can like bake, you can dress them up, you can um, they can interact, um, and basically. Basically, it's 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 not it's not like an it's not like a new take. It's it's a very recognizable, um, you know, kind of like a routine, you know, like a very very simple setup. Um, but I think it looks good. I think there's enough details, and I also like how we have a lot of characters here. Um, and you can also dress up the boys in like the girls' clothes. <laughs> so I think that's so cool. Um, like, cause like why not? Like of course, like why not? <laughs> so um, the only thing I kind of don't like here is that. Um, it does, if you notice, it does kind of like uh, preface that you will only be able to do certain things if you had, if you pay a subscription. So um, that's what I don't like is that some of this contents and some of these really amazing outfits and characters, I assume, will be locked behind a paywall, a paywall of like subscription. So um, I think that really sucks, but I hope that you can, you can, you can still enjoy the game even if you're like free to play so you don't have to pay because I think the, the, the design, the concept, um, it looks looks nice enough it looks cute you know so I, I hope that you don't have to pay if you don't want to you know we have some more information on g3 updates with the potion minis series 4 we now know that they will actually be packaged in a crystal ball shape instead of like the potion bottle that we've come to know um i think that's interesting and i also like how that might mean that they might make this new crystal ball recyclable so you don't have to keep it if you don't want to so they make it more environmentally friendly i think that would be an amazing step to go in for Mattel um, and maybe that's also why they, they are changing the shape because they know that they can't really realistically they can't have a long uh, like a long lasting line like this where it's always plastic bottles because you know they are just contributing to the horrible climate change like the plastic ways uh, but anyway um, they also will have tarot cards each character each figure will come with a tarot card that will also will also have um, a unique star sign for each character. I think that's really cute. Um, and then we also have more information on the boutique playset, which will retail for 99 US dollars apparently. Um, and it will be able to fold up and you know, um, into like two stories and there's like five rooms. It sounds really amazing. Obviously reminds me of the uh, Monster High, you know, a school playset that you can also, you know, um, you know, like, fold up and like close um i have that one so i think that i i'm very curious to see like how big is it and like how is, is it gonna work with like the gimmick of like opening it up or whatever and then yes we have our first look at the new upcoming skin no fear book dolls series two that includes venus and abby um the fear book dolls the first series included torlai Dracula, and twyla and yeah now we have five dolls in total i wonder why they didn't make like just an another you know three dolls in a series second series um but i'm happy with these two characters i'm also happy that these are two new characters not just like you know another draculaura i mean okay that wouldn't make sense but like a claudine and like a frankie like i'm happy that these are you know venus and abby relatively new characters so i'm happy about that um and uh v venus and Abby, yes, that's what I, I thought. I said Caddy. <laughs> no, although I do hope that they also make Caddy that they put her in this uh, line because, like, uh, just imagine like a, a full on stage look, you know, like f f pop star moments, like that would be so iconic. Um, but anyway, so Abby and Venus. Um, Abby is in her like little uh, school ice sculpting class. She has a little ice sculpture as well in the shape of her pet, Shiver, I believe is the name, or is that its name? I forget, <laughs> um, but I like the design on Abby. I like the also the the henna tattoo I believe on the hands. Um, 
obviously very, it's, it represents her heritage so I, I like that and i think the only thing i don't like about her is the outfit is it's kind of plain I, I do like it um but i i feel like the shoes also like maybe she could have had some socks or like i don't know just something more interesting but um i i really i really dislike her hair because it's so short and it's poly like it's very likely poly quality so um you know i already know how it's how it's gonna feel so that's really a shame um but then venus you know i think venus looks amazing she obviously is in her gardening class i like how they both have varsity jackets but they're unique um and i like how she has her own little plants and pots um and her shoes kind of look like upside down grass or something like it's, it's like the texture of the heels or like the platform is so interesting um i like how she has like this over these overalls on the print is okay but i do like again the jacket that she comes wearing and then her sunglasses they look so cool they are the same mold that she got in the core release i believe just an orange here um and then here she has actually a straightforward look like she's not looking to the side so that's very interesting um and then obviously the biggest highlight ab about her is her afro like it's she has like this huge afro it's like amazing it's glorious um i'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you know now we have or, or already we have three different venus dolls um that have different hair textures we have the braids we have straight hair and now we have the afro like very curly hair um that's amazing I'm, I'm so happy that venus is here and like she's really showing a lot of representation and a lot a lot of diversity as well um i love that honestly i think the hair is the biggest the biggest plus about her for sure um the outfit could be better obviously but i still feel like even with the lipstick i love the shade it's like a dark lipstick um i think she looks amazing but what do you think which one do you prefer and have you gotten any of the other fear book dolls um i do think we'll get more pictures soon and we'll see more of the details of the outfits hopefully maybe that will change our minds and maybe they actually have really cute outfits on um and i think they will probably also have more accessories than we see here hopefully because they don't really seem to have too many access accessories as we can see here um and they these two dolls are supposed to release around you know the beginning of next year so january of 2025 around that time uh, but you know, as with many releases, they sometimes come out earlier. So maybe we'll see some real life pictures already by the end of December. I mean, who knows? Um, but yeah, which one, which one's your favorite? And are you really tempted to get any of these two? If so, why? Oh, by the way, the pricing is $24.99 US dollars. I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but yeah, basically the average price of G3 releases. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I honestly, I can't wait to see more characters get introduced into the, you know, Fear Book line because I feel like there's a lot of potential for a lot of characters and what they could do with their design. Moving on to G1 news, we have more pictures here of the upcoming School Lecture 2 pack uh, based on the movie Us directed by jordan peele so yes by now we have seen um the dolls they i don't know again i'm not sure where these pictures come from but basically these are real life pictures of the dolls probably the prototypes but still that's this is how they will look you know uh i'm assuming they will release this two pack in november this month around the end or of november hopefully um because like i i don't know like why else we would have these pictures already if they're not going to release soon um but i think they look really they look better here um they don't look as you know like a blank stare they look better um i think the outfits also look better the earrings i like the earrings you know like for red we have um like the little little paper cutouts in the shape of people in red for addy her earrings are like um cuffs i believe uh right it's, it's interesting um i don't remember cuffs playing a role in the movie maybe they probably do i've just i haven't seen a movie in a hot second <laughs> um but i like how she has like the as a hair accessory in gold she has this um like fire rod thing like to stoke the flames uh yeah so that's what she has in her hair i believe and then they both have belts they're they're both wearing very simple outfits because that's how they look like in the movie they are wearing very simple outfits to be fair um they did the best they could it looks good um the shoes is it, the shoes are interesting okay so i actually i didn't notice this at first but you know on addy's shoes um one of them on, on one of them it says tethered in red and then on the other shoe on the front, it says together. Um, and then on red, on red's shoes, uh, on the front as well, it's the, it, it says um, 
find yourself. Again, find on one shoe and then yourself on the other, on the front of the other shoe. Uh, yeah, interesting. I that's so fascinating. Why they added those words in red on both shoes? Obviously, again, has to do with the movie. Um, but that was a cute little detail. I didn't notice at first. And the bunnies are. are are also really cute um but yeah what do you think um it's also interesting how they they have updated now the collector logo so they look different now so uh i guess it's gonna how that 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 it this is how it's gonna look like now for the updated releases for uh you know from now on so um yeah interesting you know i do we prefer the older logo or the new one let me know for you well that was a lot of monster high news to dig into but what do you think let me know down below and that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses